everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield and our adventures in the beautiful Willow-covered Galar region. We have just had an absolutely amazing night of collecting a couple wishing stars that Professor Magnolia is going to turn into something special for us, and eating Sonia's delicious curry. So let's go ahead, stretch, and get the day going. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Up, it is true. You really met. Is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't realize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was a weirdly heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Siri tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. No pun intended, because of the fog. A right fount of information you are. Sonia, Siri, Hop, these are for you. What do we have here? Is it tea? Oh, hey! A Dynamax band! We got it and slipped it on our wrist. It kind of reminds me a lot of the stuff from Pokemon Sun and Moon, huh? A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a slight, uh, a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. That sounds pretty cool. The Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor! This is brilliant! It's just like the one Lee has on him, too! Now we can Dynamax our Pokémon like he does! My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokémon Dynamax, and taking on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Siri, I'll beat you to the station. <laughs> all right, I guess we're off on a great Pokemon adventure now. What does my mom think about this? I mean, I guess this is like more like sending kids out to go find something useful to do. Let's see, thank you, Magnolia. A strange Pokemon in the slumbering world. I don't know. I've got an uneasy feeling for some reason. Hmm. And this guy is still taking care of the plants. That's adorable. All right, Schwirl. I'll see you later. Try not to bite too many things, okay? Uh, and actually, what's this? Oh, Link Trade! Okay, so apparently there's, like, Link Trades. You could do- What? You can do surprise trades? <gasps> what? And there's cards and stamps? Okay, guys, it looks like local communication is going to be pretty fun. What is surprise trade, I wonder? Oh my gosh! Okay, so we could try doing surprise trades? <gasps> That'll be something we'll work on in the future. But for now, I guess I'm setting off to go participate in the gym challenge? But really, yeah, I'm going to say we're going to start some of our own just casual adventuring. I don't think Mom has a problem with it, and it means we can learn more about our individual Pokémon and the world as a whole. That's an important thing for every young kid to grow up into, discovering the world around you and being competent at moving through it. One last thing before we race, Siri. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about all that tall grass? Yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember. <laughs> okay, need a fill proof. Just press the left stick. Got it. Try it out, and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Siri. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. Alright, I wonder what my mom thinks about this. I'm sure mom thinks it's fine. <gasps> What's that? Come here, you! I like, I'm gonna grab this thing by the tail of Wild the Zigzada Root. Oh, he was so cute! <laughs> I have never seen one of these before. I know that they've been in the, the games for a while, but all right. Sabo, what do you think this guy is? Splash some water at him. <gasps> Holy cow! What an artsy little thing you are. I know, it, it might be a little scary, Sobble, but you know what? Let's go ahead and try to make friends with it. Where's my Pokeballs? And just see. There we go. I've never seen one of these before, so this will be exciting to like take it on and learn more about it. Yay, we got 
it! Zigzagoon. I love that name. I think, I wonder if this one likes art. We'll have to figure it out. All right, everybody's leveling up well. I guess because we're learning more about the world. Zigzagoon, a dark and normal type. I would bet you that this is a Pokemon. Tiny Raccoon Pokemon! I thought it was a Raccoon Pokemon! I bet that it competes with Foxglove, the Nick, the Nick Cat, for all of the food that they like to store. Its restlessness has it constantly running around. If it sees another Pokemon, it will purposely run into them in order to start a fight. Oh my gosh, can you just imagine? So this is the Galarian form? That's so interesting. I guess the Zigzagoons must look differently in other realms and other regions. I've never seen one in person. I think it'd be perfect. This is gonna be a companion to run with our little Yipper, our Yamper, and give Zigzagoon a nickname. Um, Ziggy. I'm gonna give it the nickname Ziggy after a cat I used to have, actually. All right, welcome Ziggy. I'm sure that many people have named their Zigzagoon Ziggy, but I really did have a cat named Ziggy who looked vaguely like that one, actually. Oh, another one of the Nick Caps. Oh my gosh, did we- what is this? Did I just get- uh, There's like chatter that goes on from that? <gasps> That's hilarious! Okay, interesting. Well, we'll figure out what to do. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, there's another Yamper! Oh, I would love to spend some time, like, chasing them. Is that just a little wild Yamper? Hello? Hi? It is just a little wild yamper who's hanging out in the middle of the street. Uh-oh. This is not a good type match for us. Uh, apparently water gun's effective, though? I don't know why that would be the case. All right, let's say that this guy, this, oh, he used nuzzle. Oh my gosh. <gasps> the nuzzle is actually electric, and now we're paralyzed. <laughs> All right, I think that would probably freak my Sobble out. Um... I mean, let's swap Pokemon then. I think that, let's see, Turtle probably, let's put down our Yipper. Let's put down our Yipper. Cause I feel like he would want to play with this Yipper or Yamper. So we'll put down Yipper or Yamper and we'll let them play. They're just playing. They're not really battling, I don't think. They're just two little Yampers having a good time playing with one another. Because if you look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> so, I like the idea, like, ours, uh, Yipper, our yam Yamper Yipper was definitely a little stray. And if you're not here for the Pokemon roleplay, I'm not sure while you're here. But this little one is absolutely, look at that little fluffy butt. Oh my gosh. This one's absolutely just a little local, little local. Yamper who has come out from chasing somebody, somebody's in the, uh, Willows in the Willow Fields. All right, can we get any more? Let's try again. There we go. We did it! Sorry, little one. But we needed that experience for sure. There we go. Sobble's leveling up. Oh, Sobble can learn a water pulse. I think that he's probably frustrated he wasn't able to do more in order to attack. So a pulsing blast of water and it does 60. Okay, versus water gun, which is a 40 and 100, 60 and 100. Let's actually make his water gun more powerful. I don't think, well, I don't think he needs to know bind. Yeah, we're gonna forget bind with his tail and he's gonna wanna learn how to like spray his water out a little farther. To be able to like get at things because i feel like sobble wants to have more accuracy with his water abilities that'll make sense all right let's run up here <gasps> what if i've got you i've got you i absolutely want a rookity i haven't been able to get one yet all right sobble you can try out your new water gun i know this rookity is going to try to steal your berries but we've got this all right try water pulse Power trip. <gasps> They're so cute when they get so mad. Look at how like flustered they are. They're adorable. Oh jeez! I'm still not gonna catch myself a rookity. <laughs> Good job, Sobble. 
I think Thalmul just like really was not feeling getting pecked on by that little one. All right, let's keep running this way. They're so cute. I love how the little wild Pokemon are just like strolling about in the fields. Another one. All right, come here, Rookity. You're going to be mine. I want, I want this little burb. I want this burb so bad. All right. Trying to steal our berries. All right, let's try pound. Oh, Sobble's paralyzed. Oh, hang in there, Sobble. All right, hang in there, little rickety. Let's try water gun. Can you do it, Sobble? Yes, there we go. All right, and look at that little rickety. I love that he's gonna use power trip of all things. That's just like a sassy little chickadee. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and try a Pokeball. Do you want to come and join us, little friend? I'll name you Rook. We should have a whole, like, chess set. Rook, Bishop, Tower, Horse. <laughs> okay, maybe we wouldn't actually name them after chess pieces, but I think Rook the Rookity is perfect. And I could see him enjoying chess if we can teach him how to play. All right, so what about these little guys? It bravely challenges any opponent, no matter how powerful. This Pokemon benefits from every battle. Even the defeat raises, increases its strength a bit. <gasps> That's so cool! They're just tiny little ones, and we've updated our Pokedex again. Sweet, all right, so now we have Rook, the Rookity, which is very exciting. I like him, he's sassy. Let's go get him. All right, let's add Rook to our party, actually. And I'm going to swap out Ziggy. Because I feel like Ziggy and Foxglove don't get along. Since one is a Nick Cat Fox type Pokemon, and one is. Whoop, hello guys! And one is. Oh, more Rookities. Like, how do I turn. How do I turn off the. Like, versus. You should make your way back to the train at Wedhurst. Well, I'm trying. I would very much like the little internet thing to like go away because this is very distracting. Huh. Yeah, I did catch myself a Rookity. I know, I was there. I was literally there for it. Thanks. Huh. We'll figure that out eventually. All right, but here we are back at Wedgehurst. Oh, hi. Hi, cutie. Ma'am, how are you? I saw Hop sneaking off towards the station. All right. Oh, and I never got a chance to speak to this, sir. In order to bring out the full strength of Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Basics for Pokemon trainers lesson two. Don't forget to record your progress often. Uh, if a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move's power increases. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and then this little girl? Lesson one. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first ones to enter battle. Thank you, guys. That's cute. They're trying to learn some of the basics. Come on, Ziri. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. And the station's right down there, eh? All right. I'll be right there, Hop. He is so ready to go. Look at him. I want to grab some berries for my Pokemon before we go so we all have some something to eat. Especially because removes paralyzed. Okay, if we run into more Yampers, we probably want to be able to remove being paralyzed. So we'll grab some of those cherry berries. And then let's grab some, let's see. Removes poisoning. Let's grab a couple of those peach berries. And then let's grab some Oron berries again. There we go. I just want to make sure my Pokemon have a perfect picnic. Especially now that I have a sassy little Rookity with me. And we'll pop in and heal up really quickly. There we go. I really love everybody that we have got. Look at all of them. <laughs> this is a good team if you ask me. There. Sabo and the rest of the team are ready to go. Wonderful. And actually, that reminds me... Oh wait, rate a nickname? What if I want to rename a nickname? Hmm. Yes, I would love to give a new nickname. I'm so glad that they have made giving nicknames to the Pokemon so much easier. And the nickname I want to give this girl is actually Brachia. So Brasia. Let's see if I can get this right. 
I saw this. It's a type of rock. I don't know anything about it yet. There we go. Brescia, there we go. I thought that sounded like a really fun name for her. There we go. Did I name everybody else? Let's make sure. Yes, so we have Sobble, who's just going to be Sobble for now. For Kia, Jen, Foxglove, Yipper, and Rook. I love it! I think Rook is going to be extremely sassy, so I think Rook would be one of the first ones to fight. I think Foxglove actually is starting to like warm up to Sobble and the crew and getting ready to like fight more often. Uh, let's go ahead. I think Yipper would also be extremely eager. And I think Brekka, because Brekka has a la like a lax nature, would probably not be like one of the Versia would probably not be one of the ones who would want to fight first. And Jen is busy trying to collect all of the little berries. And I think Rook Rook and Yipper probably would be third in line, like depending on what the mood they're in. But I feel like Rook has a lot to prove right now. Let's go ahead and give him a little held item. So that he doesn't feel like he has to be quite so sassy. We'll give him an Oran. It won't have any effect. What? Rook, can you not eat berries? Because that would be a little bit odd if that was the case. Come on, everybody. I have a lot of... There we go. Foxglove can have an Oran berry. Rook can have an Oran berry. There. Now we've got quite the picnic going on. That makes me happy. All right, let's head out and go see what's happening at the station. I'm so excited we have Rook in our team now. Let's come on down. So out with it, Siri. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. But look at how many you caught. You're well on your way to building a fine team. Nice! And now we have the team so that's perfect for Rook. <gasps> Star-shaped rays are shot at an opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Let's teach it to Rook and say that he's like, a, it's a techno machine, a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. This one can teach a move swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Moto so Stoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. All right, I guess this is a normal rite of passage for all children, so we shouldn't worry too much about it. I want to teach our little Rook. Uh, ha! Hop's mom! Uh, Swift in just a second here. Mum! We were just trying to, like, run off and play, I guess. What are you doing here, Mum? I knew the day was coming since the moment you chose Squirbunny as a partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well on your- to set you well on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping! Sweet! I guess this land is safe enough we can just, like, send the preteens to go camping and, like, figure out how the world works. Pretty good deal, actually. Look at that! We have camping gear now! Everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area or at a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom! And just think of how lucky you are! Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers! Because I'm certain to be the next champion. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. All right. We'll be fine. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than the train can go, Siri. Come on, we're off. All right, bye, Mom. Remember? <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We are setting off on the next leg of our journey. I am so excited to see where we head. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing so we can see Motosoke surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering around everywhere you look. You can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. <gasps> this sounds so cool. This is going to be awesome! <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you all next time. So stay curious and I cannot wait to share more of the adventure with you. Bye bye